Welcome back to NISD here. Um, I'm Robbie Robertson, the Public Information Officer at the District, and I'm here with Mason Moses today. Um, uh, we're just going to continue our conversation we have with Dr. Hayes. Um, with Mason, you were in charge of planning the strategic planning sessions that we had. Tell us a little bit about what went into that process. Yes, sir. Well, a big part of that was just getting the, the people on the team. You know, mm -hmm. Reaching out the community, trying to find people who there are no people who care about the schools, but trying to identify people, trying to identify teachers, principals, other school personnel, but most importantly was the, the community members. Mm. We, we really wanted to bring in as much community input as we could because at the end of the day, these schools do belong to the community. And we want to make sure that their input is, is it, you know, that it is valued and that we do want to hear what they have to say. Was there a certain process you went through? I mean, did you have a list of names and you just kind of went down? How, what kind of go into that a little bit about we asked the school board and they gave us you know, they each gave us about two or three names we contact okay. them you know talk to other community p people who are influence makers in the community and try and get their input on who they would suggest get involved talk to parents talk to other school members about people who they, who they knew to get involved talk to principals so we tried to touch as many places in the community as we could to get their input and who should be on the team okay now when we got there that day it, it just seemed like everything was planned out we had our books ready for us we had our um, you know our food already prepared we just had everything ready to go um, dr. Preston was there um, they were there to, to facilitate things just kind of what went into all of that process and, and getting everybody involved and putting it all together a lot of hard work by a lot of good people up here for the district now we had uh, the our people in the food services providing the meals. We had donations from the community for lunch one day. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. We had you know, uh, Mr. Knox, our assistant superintendent, working with Dr. Preston to set up everything. Working with Kitty Jones in our printing office to get those binders ready. You know, a lot of hard work, but a lot, a lot of moving parts. Oh, a lot right. of people working together for the same common goal. Now, what what do you see as as a as one of the um, facilitators and directors of the meeting as the goal of strategic planning. What do you hope that comes out of this? I know Dr. Hayes just kind of shared his vision and what he, he thinks, but um, what do you see as, as happening with the district? I think there are two big parts of that. One is kind of taking the temperature of the district, seeing where, where are we? Mm -hmm. now where, where, where have we been and where currently are we now? And then most importantly, where do we want to be in the next three, four, five years? Mm -hmm. And then the next part is, how do we get there? We see where we want to be. Now, what steps as a district do we need to take to make sure that we reach that goal? Okay, now, the, one of the next steps Dr. Hayes was talking about is the pr putting together the action team. Yes, sir. Um, that's going to be a pretty big process because it it's going to involve a lot of people. So kind of tell us about what that's going to involve and, and the way that's going to actually happen. Now we're going to have 13 action teams, and our goal is to have 10 people on each one. So we're looking at trying to get 130 people involved. Which Mason, is, that's a lot of people. It is a lot of people. Group. But that, that's, that, that's a good thing, mm -hmm. because that means we get more community members involved, we get more city members involved, we get more teachers involved, we get more parents involved. And then if we can kind of touch all those groups, mm -hmm. it will really help distribute the good things that Nacogdoches ISD is doing out to, to, to the community. And also, not, more importantly, it brings in all the ideas from all those different stakeholders out in the district because, like I said, the schools do, are, are the, they belong to the community. Right. They're such a huge part of Nacogdoches, and it's important that we hear from the community members and we hear from the teachers, we hear from parents, we hear from other district personnel because those, you know, the students most of all are the lives are going to impact, but it's mm -hmm. also those people who have, have been invested in the district want to make sure that we give them a good return on their investment. Well, I know Dr. Hayes talked a lot about that, about how the, the school and the district is owned by the community. And so the community needs to be involved in what's going on Absolutely. within the district. Um, some of the things we did at, at, the, um, at the planning sessions and the summit was we divided up into groups and we came up with um, the, the goals and the uh, forgot again what you call them, I'm, I'm, my mind's blank for Objectives and Objectives strategies. Objectives and strategies, that's what it is. And we came up with one objective and two sh strategies, two to three strategies. So how are those going to be played out? What's the action team going to be involved in that yeah. part of it? Each of those strategies, those 13 of them, those are the 13 planning ones. And they fall under categories such as te teaching and learning, which is curriculum, uh, communications, com community and parent involvement, 
budgetary issue like finances and then just a number of other issues so, uh, personnel HR mm -hmm. and so if someone wants to get involved if they see one of those that those six key areas strikes them they can contact us contact me and I can give them more information about those objectives of funny or those strategies funny those objectives and then we can hopefully get them placed on a team where one they're interested in Two, mm -hmm. to where they think they can do the most good for the district. What will their job be? What, when they get those groups together and they're, they're divided up, they're going to have a job to do. What is that job going to be? Job's going to be come up with more, basically, ways to implement those strategies. The actual action that's going to be taken. Yeah, the, the actual okay. actions that are going to be taken to reach those strategies and objectives. They'll probably take them about, if they sit down, it'll probably want to take them about, a, probably about two meetings. Sit down, the dedicate, you know, an hour here, two hours there, being twice, and they can really iron those out. We're going to meet, then meet again, of course, with our facilitators, Dr. Preston and Ms. Sherry Sides, mm -hmm. and then kind of get those all ironed out, and then we'll present those to the strategic plan team in the spring, and the team can go look at those and say, that looks good, that looks really good, we might need to tweak that a little bit, or if someone just missed the mark entirely, we can go back and kind of get things re- Okay, so if I understand you right, then what's going to happen, the action team is going to come up with the plans to take the action. They bring it back to the strategic planning team. Yes, sir. And then they have to appro approve what action is going to, is going to be taken. So it, it could be deep into the spring before we actually, yes, or sir. maybe into the summer even, for ac some action actually starts happening with well, we'll be, what we come up with. We'll start, in, we'll start naming the teams towards the middle of December. Okay. We'll, and we'll be in December, we'll have a big kickoff. You know, we'll have everyone, all the members of the action teams get together with we'll the strategic planning team, and they'll meet with Dr. Preston, and we'll just kind of get acquainted, and they'll make plans to meet in the spring. In the spring, they'll get together and then try to come up with their more strategies and their, their actual actions. And then by March, hopefully, we'll get back, we'll get back together and say, Here's what we come up with, and this is what we want. This is how we want to move forward. Okay. So if someone wants to get involved, if they just see this and they say, "Well, you know, I really just want," I think I'd be good at that. What do they need to do? Well, I encourage them to call up here to the administration building, and they can ask to talk to me, and I'll talk to anybody who wants to help because we need them. We want input. We want people who want to be involved, and they just talk to me, and I'll be happy to provide them more information about the specific strategic planning team. I'm sorry, the different action teams. And they can tell me how they'd like to get involved, and we're going to make sure they get they get involved in this. If someone wants to serve, wants to get involved, they're going to serve. Now, I think um, some of the information we're going to put on the website and kind of let people know about um, and how they can get involved. Um, kind of give them the number they need to call and who they need to contact um, when when they want to. Well, they they, they can call up here. It's five six nine five thousand. I'm at extension eight eight seven six. Okay. Or just feel free to send me an email if that's easier. It's just m moses at nacisd.org, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. It sounds good. There's just so many good things going on here. I know there we really have are. the strategic planning. We have um, just a, a lot of things with facilities. We talked about that with Dr. Hayes. There's things with curriculum changes that are being made. It seems like weekly on a weekly basis. Um, talk just briefly about um, your, your job here in the district is policy, handling some of the policy issues. What are some other things you do for the district? I, I do whatever Dr. Hayes tells me to do. <laughs> you know, I, I like to think that I I'm think we all do. Exactly. Right. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm in there and really my objective is to hopefully make everyone's lives a little bit easier. I know sometimes projects come up and you're not really sure. Well, that falls in a couple different areas. Right. My job is hopefully either to take over those those mul those jobs that fall in multiple areas, or at least help facilitate the work that goes on between those different areas of the the, of the district to, to come up with the, with the finished project. Well, I know that um, we've still got a lot of different um, projects that are out there. Um, like I said, from facility from facilities to curriculum to um, you know, just managing the different campuses, making sure things are going on there. So um, I think there's just a lot of good things coming up in the really next are. six months to, you know, two or three years that are just going to help the district grow, get better and bigger. Um, there's a really bright future in Nacogdoches ISD, and I look forward to seeing what happens. I'm, I'm right there with you. So um, we're glad you're here today. We're glad that um, you could listen in. Remember, if you, if you want to get involved, call Mason. Email Mason. He'll be glad to hear from you. And um, until next time, we'll see you next week on NISD.